I'm already back in Wisconsin, and I'm on my way to the Shrine of St. Joseph in, I think, Green Bay, Wisconsin. And then tomorrow I am going to the Shrine of Our Lady of Good Help. I have to drive all the way across Wisconsin, and so it's going to be a longer road trip today. I just left home not too long ago, and I, so I already had to stop to use the bathroom, so hopefully I don't have to make a million stops on the way there. One thing I really like to do is I like to invite saints and Jesus into the car with me and to just be present with me. And so today, as I'm headed to the Shrine of St. Joseph, of course, I've invited St. Joe along with me and Blessed Solanus Casey, as he is also from the great state of Wisconsin. And so, yeah, I will be kind of mindfully present with those two on my road trip today. Random, I've also decided to add St. Augustine to the mix. So I've got St. Augustine, St. Joseph, and Blessed Solanus Casey, and we're gonna have a great time. Um, the last time I drove across Wisconsin, I also invited the saints into the car. And when I had, <laughs> when I was driving, I, I would have fun being like, all right, St. Benedict, I'm done with this conversation. Can you please leave the car? And just imagine how they would like, have to escape my car on the highway but today i've decided to be very kind i won't ask them to leave the car it's been an hour i we we i need to stop and use the bathroom again i just want to be clear i'm not in a vulnerable position but if you are or you know someone who is please get help I totally did just stop at a public library to use the bathroom. Third bathroom stop is only a four hour drive. This is way too much information. <laughs> Happy feast day, St. Joseph the Worker. <laughs> Good morning. How did you guys sleep? Good. Glad to hear. Okay, so you want to go to the St. Norbert Abbey first, and then we're going to go to Our Lady of Good Help. Yes, okay. 
I'm just finishing my coffee. And then I'll be right on my way. See you in a minute. Bye. I didn't sleep well. Too close. <laughs> I've made it to the shrine and I'm actually you can see here. I'm gonna go inside. I'm gonna go inside in a little bit. I have a little bit of time before mass starts. So I knew I I knew at some point I'd be making a trip out to the shrine. I didn't know when, and I actually wasn't planning on coming today until just recently, like on Sunday. Um, today's Tuesday, because I found this book on the National Shrine of Our Lady of Good Help. It was a novena that was in my stuff at home, and I didn't even know I had. Um, and I found it, and yesterday was the feast day of St. Joseph the Worker, and I knew that the National Shrine to St. Joseph was in Green Bay, or De Pere at St. Norbert College, and so I went there yesterday, and today I'm going to spend some time here at the shrine where um, Our Lady of Good Help made an apparition, and so it's been a place of, a pilgrimage place in the U.S., and it's actually the only formerly approved apparition by the Catholic Church and so in the United States. And so that makes it quite special. It's the middle of some good old Wisconsin farmland, which is beautiful in itself. And I wanted to take a moment, so I have this and it has more on the story of Our Lady of Good Help. And I want to just read it from here so that uh, we all kind of get more of an understanding. Del Bryce, at the age of 24, immigrated to the United States in the 1850s, and her family settled in northeastern Wisconsin, where a settlement of Belgian immigrants established their new life. Life in Belgium, Adele felt called to religious life, but her, with her voyage to the United States, that dream would have to be realized in the country she now called home. After their arrival, Adele helped her family by taking grain to the local grist mill, along a wooded trail. In the early days of October, 1859, for the first time she saw a woman who stood between two trees, a maple and a hemlock, who said nothing and quickly vanished. The following Sunday on her way to church, the same woman appeared to her. Again, silent, she quickly disappeared. Adele sought the advice of the parish priest, who instructed her if she saw the woman again to ask her in God's name who she was and what she wanted. On the way home, on October 9th, 1859, for the third time, Mary appeared. Affording Adele the opportunity to ask two questions, Mary identified herself as the Queen of Heaven, exhorted Adele to pray for the conversion of sinners and frequent the sacraments, and to teach children what they needed to know for salvation. Until her dying breath, this is what Adele Bryce did. So, our sweet lady appeared to Adele while she was on um, a path and appeared to her twice, didn't say anything, and then on the third time, Adele was able to ask her a couple questions, and she identified herself as the Queen of Heaven, and then also had instructed Adele to teach children, you know, what they needed to know for salvation, to catechize children in Wisconsin properly, and to uh, pray for the conversion of sinners, and to frequent the sacraments, um, and I think that's obviously such a beautiful thing and such a beautiful thing that this place is holy and sacred um because of our 
Our Lady's presence here. All right. I'm going to go check out the place now. And I will say, eventually I am going to probably take out my phone, but I'm going to enter in to Mass and into a state of prayer for a little while. And then when I'm probably getting ready to leave, then I'll take out my phone. It's tricky because when I come to these places, and yesterday too, like, there's a balance between recording and trying to sort of capture part of the pilgrimage, but also, like, this is a time of prayer and seriousness for me too. Of course, Mass, of course, is always the most important to be present and to prepare myself for, but other places it's it's uh, something that I'm still figuring out, right? I'll be praying for you. Um... I will. That's my prayer intention in this trip is just for whoever might be watching this that, you know, Our Lady of Good Help might come and assist you in whatever it is that you need in your life um, to kind of draw closer to the Lord, to draw closer to the goodness, to righteousness, and to Jesus. All right. I'll chat with you a little bit. What child is this who lay to rest on Mary's lap is sleeping? Whom angels greet with anthems sweet, while shepherds watch a keeping. Shepherds guard and angels sing. Haste, haste to bring him, not the babe, the son of Mary. Minnesotan, and I'm very happy to be Minnesotan. And I think if I wasn't, I think if I was from Wisconsin, I might not love Wisconsin as much as I love it. It's always good to come and enjoy all the green, all the green pastures, and uh, such a beautiful, such a beautiful place. So yeah, here's the spot where Adele was visited by Our Lady, and it's also the spot of the chapel. So, and then the schoolhouse that was built here, and also Adele's resting place, her gravesite is right next to the chapel right there. And St. Francis! Woo, woo. That's definitely St. Francis. This is really bad. I don't know where they went. St. 
St. Joe and I lost Solanus and Augustine. So we're just kind of here looking for them. I don't know. Do you see them? Do you see them around here? Oh. There they are. I had a conversation with St. Joe and Solanus and Augustine and they've we have decided that it would be better that they take a different way out from here and so I've left them here and instead our lady of good help is coming with me. Don't worry. She's not limited to just this place. So I'm sure she's uh, also staying here too. Okay, weird thought, so there's the Dirt Heaven and Hobby Shop here, I'm not gonna go in there, but I've heard that the Streets of Heaven are made out of gold, and I don't know, personally, I really hope Heaven ha just has like golden dirt roads. <laughs> It really is okay. 1-800-273-TALK. <laughs> this is totally just someone's property that I'm just like creeping on. <laughs> Made back home. Minnesota. Yay!